Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. Uh, we are coming to the end of the topic uh, structure and bonding. And uh, within the topic, we have learned that uh, we have mainly three types of bonds. We have ionic bond, covalent bond, and metallic bond. Uh, we've also gone ahead to look at the properties of ionic compounds, those compounds that have uh, ionic structure, such as sodium chloride, magnesium chloride, and the others. Uh, we've also discussed the structures of covalent compounds, which can either be molecular structures or giant atomic structure. And then we also discussed the metallic structures. Uh, lastly, uh, we discussed the types of bonds across period three, whereby we saw that uh, when you go across period three, there are changes in the types of bonds that are formed. We have uh, uh, those elements with metallic properties, so they have metallic bonds. They are those that are non-metallic, and therefore they have a covalent bonds. So we're going to have a summary. Um, of the types of bonds, structures, and their characteristics. Summary of the types of bonds, the structures that are formed, and their characteristics or properties. So we shall put that in form of a, a table. So we have the property. And then we have the substances with. Then we have covalent bonds, ionic bonds and metallic bonds. So the table summarizes the types of bonds, uh, structures, and their characteristics. So we have the substances with covalent bonds, those with ionic bonds, and those with metallic bonds. And those with uh, covalent bonds, in terms of electrical conductivity, they are poor. They are poor conductors. Those that have ionic bonds, in terms of uh, electrical conductivity, they are poor in solid form but good in liquid and aqueous state. So in terms of the ionic bonds, they are only good conductors in liquid. That means when they are molten and when they are in aqueous state. And then, uh, for the metallic bonds, their electrical conductivity is good. Is good throughout. Then you look at thermal conductivity, conducting heat. The covalents are poor. Uh, the ionic bonds also, they are poor. But the metals are good. They are good in terms of thermal conductivity. Then in terms of the melting point, then we have the boiling point, and then finally the solubility. So the covalent bonds, their melting point 
uh, for the giant atomic it's high but for molecular it's low for the ionic bonds their melting point is high and also for the metallic bonds the melting point is high the same case applies to the boiling point uh, that uh, the giant atomic it's high and molecular is low the ionic is also high and metallic is high and then lastly solubility in water the covalent are insoluble except those with hydrogen bonds except those with hydrogen bonds all the others are insoluble the ionic are soluble and uh, for the case of uh, metallic bonds we have a few uh, soluble so basically that is a summary of uh, the bond types the structures and their characteristics so this table is more or less a summary of what we have uh, learned in the entire topic the conductivity of uh, covalent bonds is poor there are no delocalized electrons so no delocalized electrons so for the ionic they are only poor in solid form but when you dissolve them in water or when they are in aqueous solutions they are good metallic bonds are always good uh, thermal conductivity of covalent bonds is poor ionic is poor but for metals is good uh, the melting point of covalent uh, compounds and the boiling point so giant atomic is high but molecular is low both in terms of the melting point and boiling point but ionic they are high in terms of the melting point and the boiling point and that is because of strong ionic bonds metals the same because of the strong metallic bonds and then lastly solubility in water uh, covalent are insoluble uh, ionic they are mainly soluble and in metals a few of them are soluble so we are going to have uh, an assignment so the assignment uh, the first question name the particles that conduct electric current in the following substances molten sodium bromide graphite and aluminium uh, number two using a dot and cross diagram show bonding in a methane the formula is indicated carbon four oxide and magnesium so we'll stop there and that marks the end of the topic on structure and bonding and we'll meet in another topic goodbye Thank <music> you.